Hello, my name is Paul Bartlett. I'm a wood turner here in Southwest Florida. Just wanted to show you my latest project, and it was five urns, and they were made as one project using the BB Stay method, which is in one of my previous videos titled BB Stay System. I just wanted to show you briefly what they are and I'm calling it the Forever Together Forever series because a couple of them are big enough to hold the remains of two people. The other ones are smaller. I, they go from 30 pound capacity to 300. So I've got 300, 280, uh, 120 I believe it is and 60 and 30. So just to give you a, a look, is I made a different feature ring in each one, and it has the screw-on screw-on lids. Okay, so and they're finished in epoxy, so they're, they'll hold water. So if you just if you just want to use them as a vase, that's fine. They'll hold water forever. Go completely waterproof inside out and so that's one of just the uh, red white and blue feature ring I did another one here with using wooden crosses okay the largest one is this one here and I used American flags, which I, I like this one a lot. This one is the one that is has a 300 pound capacity. This is another one I did with a uh, just a feature ring with blue epoxy and crystal white uh, diagonal stripes in it. Or the smaller one, I didn't do any featuring. I just thought I would, it was kind of small, but it, this is the one that's 30 pounds. So, what I'm going to do is I'll show you some pictures and string together a few videos of the in process that I used to make them. It doesn't cover everything, but I think. Uh, you, you'll kind of get the idea of how it is. Okay, here is a picture of my 18 wedges. They're 20 degree wedges. And I will get five urns out of these wedges. Okay, you can see the three that are laid out, and then the one blank at the bottom here will give me the fourth one. The two corners here will give, once they're put together, will give me my fifth urn. Now here's all the pieces that are cut out and ready to put together. Here's the very smallest urn down here at the bottom that we just talked about and then the three that were laid out and here are the corner pieces the bigger ones here and then the smaller ones here. When they're assembled and put together I will be able to turn a fifth urn out of those as you will see uh, shortly. Okay, here's the 18 segments, staves with the petitions to create my vessel, top and bottom for the 18 vessel feature ring. They came out really good. Uh, here they're just rubber band together here 
I have to cut all the profiles out, I'll show later. But if you want to take a look and see, they just came out. There's no gaps at all that I can see. Okay, and they're 18 degree segments, or 20 degree staves, 18 of them. And uh, all uh, chewed up on the drum sander. So I think this is going to work out fine. Just wanted to show you this. The BB Stave System video uh, will show you how to create different shapes using this method.
Okay, here's three molds that I made for making epoxy um, rings, feature rings for my other three vessels that I'm going to, that I three. Okay, here's a thin strip, probably about eighth of an inch thick that I'm going to hopefully form into a circle after it's cured and it'll go into my mold which is buried over here which is here and it'll go about the mean diameter of the space, the space in here. I think it's nine and a quarter inches. And then I'm going to have some vinyl flags that have a sticky back on them that I'm going to stick to that to make the feature ring for the large, one of the larger urns that I'm making. So this is just a piece of plastic that I've got a couple strips all clamped on and they're about an eighth of an inch high and I filled it full of epoxy. So we'll see what happens tomorrow when we take it out of the mold here. And that's it. Okay, I got the clamps off. Now we're going to see what happens. I try to get this out of here. I ran over the edge here a little bit. Not sure how that's going to work. But. Okay, a little help here. This is silicone pads that I had that I used for, for a base on top of a board like this. So let's see if we can get this off of here now. Okay, that's not too bad. strip. You need to clean the edges of that up, straighten it up. And I know I'm not going to be able to bend that without putting a little heat on it, so that shouldn't be a problem. We'll uh, address that when the time comes.